So B-Side, it's a new boroscope inspection service for technicians to contact experts when they have a question about engines uh, internally and it's to remove doubt or for on-the-job training. So in the field, uh, basically what will happen is if uh, a customer will have a platform and you'll have a couple of different parts of equipment to be able to connect their boroscope uh, to the platform and send images to the cloud. So what they would do is if they have a question, they can call upon Saffron by clicking on a button, going through a three-step process, and then we call them up with an expert and they can share images live. It's kind of like Skype for boroscopes only. It's, uh, it's got uh, better quality images. You have chat functions and you can see the person you're talking with in order to uh, facilitate the communication process. So what you see here is a boroscope. And what you would need to be able to share your images from the boroscope, so to connect your boroscope, is you would have a couple of cables. Uh, you have a simple converter, a video converter, that would be able to put it into your hardware. As you can see here, you can see the images on the boroscope that are also transmitted to the cloud. And I can see the people that I'm trying to discuss with, and this would be the expert version. You can see exactly the same thing, the images uh, from, the, from the boroscope. And the purpose of that would be so that you can collaborate together. So normally if you have a question about something, you're going to take a picture. And with that picture, you might want to draw on it. So you're going to blow it up bigger on your screen and you can see the same thing for the, uh, for the experts who's going to want to do the same thing. And each person can collaborate at the same time. So if you want to draw and point out something that you think is really unusual or you have a question about, then you can have either that training or that expertise live. So here we have the inspection generator uh, function that we've developed for our inspectors. You click uh, from the home page on the inspection uh, button. And as you can see here, I have a lot of different inspections that I would have done in the past. If I want to add a new inspection, I choose from a template. And then afterwards, I'm going to choose my work scope. So how it works, I click on my inspection points. And here I can see all of the, uh, I would normally record some images. Then I'll take a picture. I'll be able to comment it or add it to my reports. Maybe I want to add some additional information. Uh, you know, you have certain things that you're observing in each inspection point. I add my remarks and I can sanction it. I save my work and I continue on to the next point with my work. And the advantage of this tool is that when I'm taking pictures, I can easily uh, add them to my reports. I click the button and I've generated my reports. So here you format it the way that you want, of course. You can have a pretty image of uh, your engine if you like. And I have a global status for my serviceability. Obviously in the next, uh, in the next uh, version, the commercialized version, because this is the beta version that I'm showing you, you can use electronic stamps. And so each inspector would have his uh, stamp located in this, uh, in this area. And all of my photos are then organized next to the remarks. Uh, and I only had to do it with a click of a button. Now the next, the next step would be to publish this report, meaning I'd send it off to people who need it, and, uh, and I can retrieve it again on the platform in one centralized location.